in today's exciting adventure. The Outrider Space Base is on a collision course for Planet Yuma. Will there be a crash to end all crashes? Will the Star Sheriff send the Rowdy Wranglers back to their own dimension? It depends on the Nth Degree, the Cobalt Blue Blaster, and Jesse's notorious renegade as the 7th Cavalry pours it on in this thrilling adventure of Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs. Our battles with the Outriders had reached a critical stage. We damaged their power systems, but Jesse Blue still had the awesome Cobalt Blue Blaster. And though one of the cyborg images of Nemesis had been destroyed, he lived on, transformed into the ultra-powerful Nth Degree. This is the structure of Nemesis, or what we believed was Nemesis. It was actually a cyborg, a kind of robot with organic intelligence. Commander Eagle, before he was destroyed, Nemesis said he existed in several places at once. Now, is that possible? Yes. You see, he used to be a vapor being, but his vapor body was destroyed, so he built artificial bodies, like this. His brain was transferred to a master mainframe called the Nth Degree. That's all we know, gentlemen. But the Nth Degree is on the Outrider planet. Mm hmm And it's still in our dimension. Then we've got to attack it, send it back to its own dimension. Yes, we must prepare the Seventh Cavalry. Colt was hit pretty hard in that last battle. I hope he's gonna be okay. Don't worry. I have faith in him. He's going to pull through all this with flying colors. He's always playing the tough cowboy, but I know what he's really like, just a softy. How is he? He's in a deep sleep. The doctor says he needs to rest. It's very important. Of course. I still don't get it, Commander. Is Nemesis a vapor being or a computer? He's both. It was your father who defeated Nemesis 16 years ago. So that's when he changed. And he's got a personal grudge, so we'll have to go up against him. But I still feel like we should stay here with Colt. I'm very concerned about Colt as well. But if the 7th Cavalry has launched, we must be there to back them up. Colt wouldn't want us to stay behind because of him. I wish Colt could be there with us. It'll be tough without him, but we'll have to try. I don't know who's gonna cover the Maverick quick draw, but you know what they say, if you gotta go, you gotta go. We're ready, Commander. You can count on the Star Sheriffs. The Seventh Cavalry is on its way. So is the Monarch Supreme and the Starfleet of the legendary Kingdom of Jar. There it is, the Outrider planet. Open fire! Cavalry attack! I'm glad they blasted us. I bet they destroyed the nth degree. <laughs> I don't believe it. It doesn't have a scratch. All its systems are working. I have got to take control of it. Now! Jesse! Ah! What? Sizzle.
The throne. My throne. If I could just sit in it and relax. Lord, Lord! The Camry's coming back! Yeah, they're gonna cream us! What do we do? Don't you just hate to see a grown vapor being panic? You know what I mean? Me, Grandpa? Yeah, right. Now listen, we've still got the Cobalt Blue Blaster. Rev it up! Once we blast planet Yuma, we take it over and leave this junk heap behind. But sir! <clears throat> What's that? We just changed course! We're off our orbit! We're headed straight at planet Yuma! It's crash time, boss! Nemesis, shut off the nth degree! It's not happening, Trail Boss! The whole thing's gone kaflooey! It's totally discombobulated! No! Power up the Cobalt Blue Blaster and use it! We've been trying to get the full power! We need more time! We don't have time! Now get that thing charged up! But... I planned it so carefully. How could I have known that Nemesis was a cyborg? <laughs> I just got a message from King Jaray. The message has increased the urgency of your mission tenfold. There's going to be a crash. That is, unless we can find a way to stop it. The Outrider planet is now on a disastrous course. If it maintains its present velocity, it will strike planet Yuma at 0900 hours. As you know, such a collision would be devastating to the settlers and to the entire cavalry command. It could mean the end of the new frontier. Sounds like we better get in there fast. We'll enter through the barrel of the Cobalt Blue Blaster. That'll take us straight to the heart of things. I just hope we're not in there when they shoot it. Wouldn't that be a blast? We're going, Daddy. Very well. Ramrod has clearance for takeoff. Let's hit it! Take it away! Maverick Systems, power up! Cobalt Blue Blaster ready? It's not up to full power, Trail Boss, but it's close. Get it ready to fire. But, sir! Extend the barrel. Now, take the power higher. Then the Cobalt Blue Blaster will make me the master. <laughs> Looks like we've got a greeting party, guys. A renegade unit. What's the call, Top Sword? Challenge phase. And let's do it upright. You got it. Prepare for challenge phase. All right. Ramrod 2 will now take navigational control. Acknowledge, April. Navigational control on. Ramrod challenge phase one. Head him up. Move him out. Power stride and ready to ride. Here he comes. Over the top. Maverick control. No 
time to check him out. Let's fly. Right. Cobalt Blue Blaster to 90% power! <laughs> Here's your lunch, Cole. <gasps> Cole! But where could he be? They really think I was gonna let him leave me behind? No way! There it is. The barrel of the Cobalt Blue Blaster. Now, let's barrel in there. What a perfect time to open fire. <laughs> Everything's ready, Trail Boss. Hold on. My rangefinder's picking up a huge power surge. They're about to blast planet Yuma. We've got to blast them back. Yes, they may cancel each other out. I'm ready. We're at peak power, Jesse. All right. Cut it loose! We're on target! We're on target! Ready to fire now! Now! It didn't work. They canceled out my blast. That was some blast, but our systems are still go. What about their systems? I don't think we got the nth degree. Then we gotta get back in there. <sighs> Check that renegade. Are you 10 stars ready? Ready for the last showdown on the new frontier? Ready or not, here I come! I'm gonna prove it once and for all. You should have picked me, April. And now you're gonna see why. <laughs> <laughs> the Outrider planet is still headed straight for planet Yuma. We've got to shut it down before it crashes. We're almost there. It's time to break on through. This is it, team. Maverick Quick Draw. Starships. It's 
him, Nemesis! Yes, and you're the ones who stole my Vega body. When I raided your dimension 16 years ago, my body was devaporized by your father, Fireball. My brain was transferred to this master mainframe. Do you know how boring it is being a computer? All you do is calculate all day. You can never have fun. I want my body back. Now I'll have to defeat both of them. <laughs> Toward planet Yuma. We just have to hope it melts down before it gets there. Mm. There it goes. It's going back to the vapor zone. Gone. Oh, oh, really. oh. Colt, he's not moving. Uh, uh. Colt, wake up. He's out. Colt. <sighs> You've got to be all right. Colt. Hey! Colt! Uh, uh. Hey, what's your problem, April? Lighten up! Uh, Colt, you are the most impossible person. Don't ask me for help, Colt. You are the most impossible person. Do you think the Outriders will come back? I'm afraid so. I'm sure Jesse found a way back to the Vapor Zone. And Nemesis is there as well. If they raid our dimension again, we will defend ourselves. But we'll never stop trying to make peace. Not just with our words, but with our actions. And if we try hard enough, perhaps someday the new frontier will be a place of happiness, friendship, and love. Come <laughs> on. 